my dogs and welcome back to Sharpless Koi. I hope everyone got all their uh, mugs that I sent them out to. You know where you are. Right, jobs for this week. First off, I can't really tell them there, but there's a bit of food waste on the bottom. So, I'm not sure if it's just the cold weather, but my Matsuba, Ogon turned Matsuba, here he is, Matty boy down here. He is sulking a bit, sits on the bottom. To fair, it is mostly in the morning, so I am putting it down to a bit of cold weather, but at the same time, there's also a little bit of flashing. So, what I'm going to do, I need to do a water test anyway, because I've not done that for a while. So we'll get the water tested, check all the parameters, and then we'll give him a little bit of a scrape. Because also, my Benny Kikiguru, I've caught him on camera jumping a bit as well, so it needs it. So that's the jobs for this week. Just had to uh, fix my fishing wire on the side if you can see it because I caught on my camera a scrawny little furless cat drinking out my pond and to be fair he's only drinking out the pond he wasn't trying to catch any fish or anything but then he walked across his back wall and he snapped my, my fishing wire now I've got my own cat Mr Furball himself over there never jumps on the pond all he does is work, walk across the bloody pergola it's going to fall through one of these days but the furless one I catch it, both my cameras, he comes up to this corner and drinks out the jocking pond. Back is doing alright. Fingers crossed the baby tears is growing. No qualms with that. Fish have all been great. So yeah, so what I'm going to do, like I say, normally when I come out in the morning, I'm, I think it's most to do with the cold. I mean, my pond is taking a while to warm up. It's, especially this week, it's been quite cold and it's not even... It's been hovering around the 10 degree mark. He's struggling to get above 10 degrees these last few weeks, so could do with some warm weather. Yeah, and he sits on the bottom. He's got clamp fins. I know he's swimming around now. During the day, when I come home from work, he is swimming about, so... But like I said, to be on the safe side, we could do with a, I need to do a water test anyway. I'll give him a scrape. Like I say, we've, I've seen another fish do a bit of flashing and jumping as well. So it's worth it to do. And just make sure he's, uh, make sure he's all right. Plus, we don't want to get him any, if he is sitting on the bottom, we don't want any sores underneath his body. It's probably just sulking a bit. With a fish waking up from being dormant, but it's probably just taking his time. Plants are growing, which is good. So we'll go and get the microscope set up, we'll get my bowl ready. Um, we'll, we'll do the water test first, actually. And get everything going. I'll do the ammonia one first, because you have to wait 15 minutes for that one. So, do the ammonia, then we'll do the nitrate. Ni nitrite, sorry. Do them two first and then we'll get the others done as well. Obviously they're the most important ones. Can't tell, but nitrites. Zero. That's what we want to see. So they're not flashing and sulking because it's high in nitrites. Because that, my friend, is a zero. And I've used ammonia for my nitrite glass because I mark them up, but it doesn't matter. It's been cleaned out. So, nitrites, zero. How long have we got to wait for nitrates? Been that long? That one's 15 minutes. At the minute I think nitrates is going to be quite low as well. Normally it was up here, 50 milligrams if you've seen on past videos. Good news, nitrites and ammonia, zero. Bad news, my nitrates, it's still about 20 milligrams of nitrates in there. So we need the backy to kick in a bit more. But don't forget it is new, so it's gonna take a few weeks anyway. I'm sure that will help with the nitrates. Right, so before we give him a scrape, give him a bit of a once over. He's looking in good condition to be honest. It's just took a bit more water out, but turn him over as well. I can't really do it all and all the camera at the same time. Could do with a camera person. Miss Phil from Telford Coy's misses. We should be my camera person for the day. There you go. Put you on the tripod. Easier. Just need to some water. Let's have a look underneath him. He is in good nick. 
very slow growing koi this i've had it a while and it just doesn't ever seem to seem to grow right sorry guys the battery went I'll try again and i find it easier to have the koi's head going that way and going that across should we go across the gear come on better Good fish, good fish. Right, let's go and get under this under the microscope. Right, I'm gonna be honest, I can't see anything. As in parasites, which is a good sign. For this particular fish to make sure you check all around the mucus as well and just go in one place the good news is there's definitely no parasites on this fish I expected to see flukes, I ain't gonna lie. There's nothing on that fish. What I'm gonna do, because I've obviously seen the Benny Kikoru, Benny Kikigoru flashing and jumping, I'm gonna give him a scrape as well. May as well, while I've got the microscope out in the bowl. But I'm gonna need a bigger bowl, because he's a lot bigger. But yeah, for the Matsuba, I'm just going to put it down to sulkiness, I think. Just waiting for the temperatures to warm up because it's cold in the morning. It's just sat on the bottom. So he's eating anyway, so I'm not overly worried. So we'll give the uh, give the other fish a bit of a scrape. And then fingers crossed we don't see any parasites on that one as well. Don't know. Don't know, mate. I love this fish. Can't really see much there, but... Inside of our four scoping is alright. Got some. Where's my slime? There we go. Right, you can come out. Go on. Let's go scrape this. Ah, loads of mucus, which is good. Let's have a good look around this. Good news is I can't see anything flicking about at the minute. So what is making these fish flash? I don't know. Oh hang on a minute, here's a little wiggly. Yep, yeah, there's a fluke. Look, there's another one. And another one. Alright. Flukes, guys, flukes. I'm just going to use the other objective just to make sure there's no water parasites. But I've said it before, but if you've got to use 18 mil per 100 gallons, why don't they give you a cup that's got 18 mil on it? So you can only put 18 mil in. Because it's either 20 or 15. How are you supposed to know what 18 is? I just have to do it halfway. I think they'll just give you a cup with 18 mil on, won't they? Right, what I'm also going to do, because the Matsuba didn't have any, I don't really want to treat the whole pond just for one single fish. So I'm just going to go and scrape two more fish to see if they've got flukes on them. Because if they haven't, then it's probably pointless just doing the whole pond when I can just probably salt the one single fish that's got the flukes. So, we'll go and get two more. Just tested the chigoi. The chigoi, I found a couple on the chigoi. I'm just looking for the sh on the shisui now because the shisui was definitely flashing the other day. So, I'll just focus. I don't even have to move the slide. This one's riddled with them. There's one. Two. 
Oh my god. Yeah, it's quite a few on that one. Oh. Well, you're not going to believe this. I thought you needed 200 times for that, but... Let me bring you a bit closer. I've got tricks as well. Trickadina. Which the flukes seem to be feeding on. One, two, well there's about four or five, six flukes. Yeah, they're spinning around like flying saucers. Jesus Christ, there's hundreds. Oh, yeah. Trichodina as well. Like spinning discs, just spin around. It's quite funny because one goes past the fluke and then the fluke seems to latch onto it. Do fluke seat tricks? Jesus Christ, it's flipping hundreds of them. This one's riddled with it. Right, well, I've got the fluke stuff, so I don't think there's anything that does both, kill both. I need to get on the dog and bone. Right, so I've just got a bit of advice off uh, some of the uh, YouTubers, so Vince and Mark from Country Score, cheers for getting back to me straight away, guys. FMG won't kill the flukes and the tricks, so I've got the fluke solve. So I'm going to get dose it for the flukes, um, and then because that takes about three days anyway, um, and then I can order some FMG, which will then do the do the tricks. But the shisui, that was the shisui. If I didn't say the shisui is the one I've just scraped. So there's me just trying to think it's the Matsuba because he's the sulky one. Let me go that way. Because he was the sulking one. The Chagoy. I didn't see any tricks on the Chagoy. But I saw a couple of flukes. So there's definitely more flukes in the bond. But the Shisuba was riddled with, with tricks. <sighs> Never rain it pours, does it? Right, so let's get the treatment to fluke in. I'll make that foamy for a few days. All right, so I'll leave that for three days. So Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, I'll probably scrape the shisui again. Make sure it's got rid of the flukes first. And then I'll have the uh, the FMG to treat for the uh, tricks. Not really had tricks before in this pond, to be fair. Flukes this time of year, flukes all the time. The wet temperature starts picking up. But yeah, what can you do? Like I say, the chassis was riddled with them. If it didn't have that many on it, I probably just would have found another one and just uh, get another fish and just scrape that and see what it was like. You needed, tr needed treating for flukes every fish I got, apart from the Matsuba, which was strange. It didn't have flukes, unless I just totally missed them. Um, but the amount of tricks that was on that shisui, yeah, in East Treating. So, I'll have a foamy pond for a few days. So it's the one to come round the backy. All right, we'll get the FMG ordered. Saying that, I've got an into Japanese water gardens anyway, so I'll go and see Lee at Japanese water gardens tomorrow. And um, we'll, we'll pick some up from there. 
<sighs> Joys of having fish. Oh, it's got sunny. So the good news is, at least the water parameters, let me go that way. What the hell? So the good news is, at least the water parameters are fine. Ammonia zero, nitrite zero, obviously slight nitrates again. But over time, when the, once the backy starts kicking in, that should, that should be okay anyway, that should lower that. Everything else is fine in terms of the water parameters. Um, so it's just these uh, parasites. All right then, my ducks. That's probably about it for today. Not that else we can do. It's all dosed. Pond's gone a bit foamy. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up, helps us out, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. You know the score by now. And we'll see you next time, hopefully, with no tricks, no uh, flukes, parasite free. <laughs> Cheers, my ducks. Bye.